Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress custom post app tutorial for beginners and this is our part 8. In this video session guys, we will discuss about adding author filter box to movie custom post type. And also guys, in this video session, we will discuss about the action hook called restrict manage post. And also, if you are a beginner to this channel guys, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of custom post app tutorial to get the clear concept about part number 8. For the code section guys, you can download our existing code from this github repository. And also, if you have started, this is your first video session, then just go to YouTube. Inside the playlist called WordPress custom post up tutorial, you will get the, all the previous video sessions. Okay, so inside this video session guys, we want to make, just I'm going to click on this custom post type. We are going to add a drop down of authors right here. Okay, so for that, we are using called the action hook called restrict manage post okay so just back to editor this is the code guys that we have developed so far to make our custom post type plugin for this code section if you go to github of owt hub you will find a repository called wp owt custom post type here you can find all the codes okay so just back to editor first of all we have to make the filter box right here why we are making we are making making to filter all the movies related with the, that author because suppose we have created some of the movies with the author like author 2 some of the movies we have created with the author 3 some of the movies of any author as the username okay so by making the filter box inside our all movies we can filter our movies from this list just by selecting the author name okay so just back to editor so first of all we have to make the layout section for that so for the layout section we are going to use the action hook called restrict manage post so if I'm going to copy this let's add add action this is the action hook and the second parameter we need to define the callback function so let's say WPL OWT author let's say filter box layout Okay. so in the next step we need to define this callback function so let's say function this is the function name and inside this callback function we need to make the drop down list okay drop down list of all the authors that we have created before making the drop down list of authors we have to check that the post type should be movie okay so how can we check that the post type is movie so just back to editor we are going to use a global variable called global type now this is the global variable actually WordPress provides by the help of type now we can actually execute or check the which custom post type is running so if I can just make copy echo type now so let's say echo type now if I save this file just back to browser reload this page and now as we can see that this post type has the type equal to movie okay if I go again to put the post section as we can see that this is the post if I go to pages this is the type of page okay so we want to execute that top down list only if we get the movie section if movie okay so just make copy of that first we have to check that the type now should be of movie so let's say type now equal to equal to movie by getting the type name equal to movie we want to make the drop down list of authors okay so to make the drop down list of authors guys we will use a function of wordpress called WP drop down users so basically bypassing the user role inside this function it will populate all the informations related with that user okay so just make copy of this function name so WP drop down users just go to editor and let's say WP drop down users inside this drop WP drop down users we have to pass some of the parameters inside that so what will be the those parameters these are the parameters actually the WordPress codex.wordpress.org developers website provides all the information related with those parameters okay so first of all we have to pass not necessarily we can pass all these parameters these all parameters are optional okay so according to our use we can pass each of the parameters okay so just I'm copying to so option name let's say array inside this array the first parameter I will pass called so option none so basically so option none means if the user has 
no default label then in that condition what actually the value of label should be okay so let's make some option none so let's select author okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this movie section and now as we can see that select author so basically select author is the so option none this is the default value of this drop down okay so right now it will populating it is populating all the authors that we have created but we want that only authors as the user role should appear inside this drop down okay so to restrict about the user role just go to the parameters detail inside these details we can see about the role section so I'm just copying that let's say role inside this role we have to pass called author because we want to pass as the author as the user role so just save this file back to browser reload this page and now if I click on that as we can see all the users actually of the user role as author are populating okay so in the next step what we are going to do if I clicking on any of the author author one if I clicking on filter section so now we want that this author ID actually should appear inside this URL so by getting author ID if I just click on inspect we can see that author 1 author 2 and the author 3 has corresponding their IDs so by getting this ID on the URL section we can actually access all the movies details according to that ID okay so we want to pass this value to this URL also so for that we have to pass a parameter called name okay so just make copy of this name go to editor and let's pass name equal to filter by author according to your, your need you can pass any of the name section from here okay in the next parameter we are going to pass the drop down ID so let's say that DD filter author ID this is according to your naming convention okay so if I save this file just back to browser reload this page I am selecting author 2 if I click on filter so now as we can see in the URL section this is the key that we have passed called filter by author it is it has a value called 3 so by getting this 3 value we can actually filter out all the movies created by with this author ID so successfully guys we have integrated our drop down list or a filter box of author section to our custom post type okay so in the next video session guys we will make the query according to this filter by author and we will populate all the movies related informations according to this author id okay so just i'm going to commit this code to the github repository and now if you have any query in this video session guys then just drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day